Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. Laudate omnes gentes, laudate dominum, laudate omnes gentes, laudate dominum, laudate omnes gentes, laudate laudate dominum, laudate omnes gentes, laudate laudate dominum. Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our feelings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, 
forever at work in ourselves and the world. I shall praise your name to the heights, for you have lifted me up, away from the gloating of my enemies. I cried to you, God, and you healed me. You raised me from depths of despair. From death to life you delivered me. Sing a psalm to God, you faithful people. Give thanks to God's holy name. God's anger lasts for a moment. God's grace lasts for a lifetime. Tears may linger through the night, but joy comes in the morning. I felt secure and said to myself, I doubt I shall ever be shaken. Like a strong mountain, you protected me. But then, but then you hid your face, and, and I was filled with dismay. I cried to you, my God. I pleaded with you for mercy. What can be gained by my death if, if, if I disappear into oblivion? Can dust of a heartfelt praise or tell of your faithful love? Hear, O God, and take pity. Come and be my helper. You, you have, have turned, turned my mourning to dancing. You, you have clothed me with great joy. I will sing to you without ceasing. My God, I will praise you forever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Matthew, chapter 5, verses 27 to 36. You heard, Jesus continued, that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, everyone who gazes at a woman in order to lust after her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye trips you up, tear it out and throw it away. Yes, it's better for you to have one part of your body destroyed than for the whole body to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand trips you up, cut it off and throw it away. Yes, it's better for you to have one part of your body destroyed than for your whole body to go into Gehenna. It was also said, if someone divorces his wife, he should give her a legal document to prove it. But I say to you, everyone who divorces his wife, unless it's in connection with the morality, makes her commit adultery. And anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not swear falsely, but you shall give to the Lord what you promised under oath. But I say to you, don't swear at all. Don't swear by heaven, it's God's throne. Don't swear by the earth, it's God's footstool. Don't swear by Jerusalem, it's the city of the great king. Don't swear by your head. You can't make one hair of it turn white or black. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, hear our 
Almighty God, you create this earth as a place of great abundance. Give us the wisdom to enjoy its goodness, to share its wealth, and to serve you in all we do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for the priorities and concerns of the only community, for the world, for members of the Iona community and their families, and for associate members. On the sixth day of the month, we pray for the ecumenical movement, ecumenical organisations and bodies in our own countries and worldwide, the Iona Cathedral Trustees. And we pray for the leaders and peoples of the countries of Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. We pray for the Iona community members belonging to the family group of Central Scotland. Jenny Barr, Alan Miller and Lucy Miller, Betty Milne, Joyce Muir and Ken, Margaret Stewart and Frank. On the sixth day of this month, we pray for associate members in Fife. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness, and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community that hidden things may be revealed to us, and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we preserve with each other sincere charity and peace, and, and if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continues still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love. God in community, holy and one.